Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to share how to set up the assessment, planning and billing section. The assessment, planning and billing section within the workflow event forms provides a comprehensive overview of the patient's health status after all tests have been conducted. Assessment summarizes the patient's health after all tests, incorporating all examination data. Planning is for forming a treatment strategy based on exam insights, including procedures and follow-ups for optimal care. Billing is for automating billing codes during tests, allowing for immediate invoicing and efficient billing. For the purpose of this video, we will start on a previously set up examination workflow event template. For more information on how to navigate to the workflow event template screen, please refer to the how to set up a customizable examination form user manual linked in this video description. Please note that the assessment, planning and billing section is also accessible on other forms with setup variations depending on the selected workflow event template. We will now take a look at the various fields and sections within this screen focusing on the assessment, planning and billing panel. To add a diagnosis, simply enter the ICD-10 code or the name of the diagnosis in the designated diagnosis field. Alternatively, you can click on the ellipse button you can choose a diagnosis code from the provided list. To learn more about the ICD-10 builder screen, please refer to the Procedure, Material, Medicine, Macro, ICD-10 Code, Search Code, Lookup, User Manual linked in this video's description. Please note that the form is configured to automatically fill in the diagnosis codes according to the data entered during the examination for your convenience. If you wish to remove a code, simply click on the Delete button. Click on the Assessment field and complete your assessment notes for the consultation. Please note that you are able to add considerations from the pull section directly to the assessment field as well. You can even add a voice recording by clicking on the Add Voice Recording button. For more information on how to add a voice recording, please refer to the How to Add a Voice Recording User Manual linked in this video's description. Click on the Open Theatre Manager button to access the Theatre Manager screen. For more information regarding the Theatre Manager screen, Please refer to the Theatre Manager, Navigation and Use User Manual linked in this video's description. Please note that depending on how your exam form is set up, any considerations you've added before will automatically show up on the Considerations section. For more information on how to set up and use considerations, please refer to the How to Set Up Pills on Customizable Forms as well as the Examination Form, Navigation and Use User Manuals linked in this video's description. Feel free to click on the consideration you need and its name will be copied into the plan field of the plan section for you. Click on the copy field to add the consideration in the assessment field. If you wish to remove the consideration, simply click on the delete button. Complete the details of the treatment plan within the plan text field. Next, click on the desired script items then click on the add to script button. Please keep in mind that you can only use the add to script button once you've selected script items. The task items, procedure items and follow-up sections contain all similar fields to complete with the relevant information. We will take a look in detail at the first option and then afterwards briefly go over the remaining options. Click on the Add button to insert a new task item. The new task item screen will open. In the following field, fill in the task you would like to be completed in the request field followed by any additional information regarding the task item in the details field. If necessary, you can end off with a few additional type notes or you can utilize the voice recording function instead and add recorded notes to your tasks. For more information on recording voice notes, please refer to the How to Add a Voice Recording User Manual linked in this video's description. Once satisfied with the information completed, click on the Create Task from This button. To learn more on this, please refer to the Workflow Event Template Setup Task Item User Manual linked in this video's description. If you wish to remove the created task item, click on the delete button. You can now follow up the same steps as before on the procedure item section as well as the follow up item section. Click on the desired follow up time frame to indicate when the patient will need to follow up, such as selecting applicable days, weeks, months or even pro renata, which means as needed. Next, click on the add line button to insert a new billing code to the form. Click on the tab to search field to search for the relevant billing code to add either by name or code. Lastly, to add the signature of the practitioner, click on the Add button under the Doctor's Signature button. For more information on how to add a signature, 
Please refer to the How to Add Doctor Signature User Manual, linked in this video's description.